Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells so bad in here. Woohoo! Check that out. Electrified pickle. Okay, people who love science and people who love cucumbers, today is your day. Yes, today we are going to electrocute a cucumber in two forms. One, as just a regular old cucumber, and number two, as a pickle, and see what happens. Now, I've seen this in the science textbooks. They like to show this uh, to show that pickles have a lot of electrolytes in them because the stuff they brine the pickles in has salt in it. And so in order to do this, you're going to need a power supply, a variable voltage power supply with an on off switch, a safety fuse, and your own outlet and a dial so you can control everything safely. You're gonna need some kind of electrical cable. Now I've taken an extension cord and put alligator clip ends on it and I've marked which end is the neutral or and which end is the hot. The hot one has the white tape. The neutral has no tape. And I'm gonna use two thermometer clamps on some ring stands. And I took some nails and I put two layers of heat shrink tubing on them. So when the nails are in here, uh, they're insulated. So if somebody accidentally touches two things here, you know, they're not gonna get electrocuted, hopefully. And we'll stick the nails into the cucumber and into the pickle and we'll see what happens. So let me set this up and I'm gonna turn the front lights off so we get a better look at what goes on here. Cause we're gonna try and light these babies up. Be right back. Now we are set up. We've got the cucumber impaled by both nails. We've got the alligator clips on. We've got the extension cord plugged in. We've got the power supply plugged in. We have it set to zero volts. This is the weirdest power supply for some reason. I don't know, it's made in China, but it goes an increment of 13 volts. You would assume just before you even open the package up that it would go in maybe five or 10 volt increments like the metric system. If anybody has a reason why that is, please uh, comment below and let me know. Okay, so we are going to turn on the power supply. All right, the light's on, that is good. And we are gonna dial it up to 13 volts. Lucky 13. Nothing happened. All right, let's go to, let's go to 26. Let's go to 39. Let's go to 52, nothing. Next one up, which is 65, nothing. 78, nothing. 91, 91 volts. We're getting, no, we're getting close to the outlet output, which is 120 volts. 104, 117. 130 volts, that's full power. And there is nothing happening. All right, now this is why I like doing this safely. So before anybody touches anything and tries to remove the pickle from the alligator clips and all that, we can go back to our power supply, dial it all the way back down to zero, turn it off and be a super safety nerd and just unplug it while we're at it. Come on really in there tight. There we go. Now we're unplugged. So now we know it's safe. And we'll, pickle still feels room temperature. Or the uh, cucumber, I mean. You know what? For the next one, for the pickle, when I put the pickle on there, let me get my thermometer, my digital thermometer, and we'll take the temperature before and after. But it looks like nothing's really going on here. Let's take this out. Pull these apart. There's no change to the nail. And let's just have a look at what's going on inside this cucumber here. Let's set the tripod up. And we're just gonna cut this open. We'll try and get it cut right where I had the nails in there. And just see what's going on. You can see the indents where the nails went in, but there is nothing going on in there. There was no electricity flowing through there. And that is because pickles are mostly, or cucumbers are mostly water. I keep saying pickles. Cucumbers are mostly water. And that's why they are very low flavor. That's why we pickle them in the first place. And that's why they practically give this junk away right when you walk into the produce department. There's like cucumbers and bananas are like dirt cheap. They're like, get this junk out of here. Nobody wants to eat this. Uh, I'm just kidding. I have cucumbers in my salad every night. So nothing happened with that one. 
Now, let me set the pickle up and we'll take the temperature and we'll see what happens when we run electricity through that. Ooh, look at that pickles dripping juices. It's ready to go. Probably dripping juices because it's had a nail stuck through it. Let's just get the temperature of this thing here. At about 68.9 degrees. That's about room temperature. The rest of the room is about 71.2. All right, we are plugged in. We are hooked up. We are going to turn the power on and we are going to start again at 13, 13 volts, nothing happening, 26 volts, nothing yet, 39 volts, nothing, whoops, we lost one, see that's why, that's why we have the safety thing, so we'll turn that off, turn it down to zero volts, I'll leave it plugged down, I'm pretty confident, I'm not going to touch anything, that hook back up there. There we go. Back on. Back up to 39. Nothing. Next. Let's go up to 65. Oh, it's humming. See those little bubbles on the side there? Let's go to 78. Oh, can you hear that? I hope the camera can pick that up. Let's go up to 91. It's definitely crackling in there. 104, whoa, there it goes, it's lighting up. Smoke or steam is coming out of there. It smells terrible. You know what, let's go down, back down to zero. Let's turn this light out too. Let's get it really dark in here and see what this looks like in the dark. All right, lights out, let's crank this back up again. Let's see what this thing looks like. Now, interesting, only half the pickle is lighting up, but it started off on the right half, and now it's lighting up on the left half. And look at all that stuff coming out of there. Let's go full power. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells so bad in here. Woohoo! Check that out. Electrified pickle. All right, let's turn this off and turn the lights back on, and let's see what kind of damage we've done to this thing. Okay, let's take the temperature, 119.7. So it got pretty hot in there. And look at the nail, some of the nails sticking out now as I moved it around. And um, it looks like it's really oxidized or corroded or whatnot. Let's turn the power supply off. We're back to zero. We're gonna unplug the power supply. We're gonna unplug the cable. We're just gonna be totally safe here. Totally safe. I was even wearing eye protection. Had it going there. Oh, I can set that down now. Okay, let's remove the clips. And then let's remove the nails. Oh, the pickles, it's so warm. And let's set it down and let's dissect it and see what it looks like on the inside. Look at the nails. Look at how corroded the nails are. And this one, and this is the side it was primarily lit up on looks way worse than this side. If anybody has an explanation as to why only half the pickle would light up and why it switched, it looked like it started on the left and then end, or on the right and ended up on the left, then it was lighting up, right? Let's cut this open. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey! I should have forbade them from making announcements while I'm making the video. Anyhow, look at the insides of that pickle. It's still like steaming a little bit. Uh, this is the side that primarily was lighting up, and that's where all the burning is taking place inside there. And oh, my room just smells so bad, like pickles right now. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's pull one of these nails out here. So take a look at that. Let's see what happens when we, if we can wipe that off. Does that come off? It cleans up a little bit. Well, we could definitely use that again. Anyhow, anybody has an idea as to why only one side of the pickle lights up? Please. Drop a comment, hit a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.